PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Now the beautiful day here in paradise. Hey, what's Pete going on about today? Well you know guys here I love my cheap plasma torches. I like all of these. But especially I like the PT31. If you watch any of my videos you know that I like these because they're really cheap to run and they're good little torches. But I think there's a design fault with these things because I don't know if you guys are anything like me. Sometimes the torch heads burn out really, really quick and I'll show you why. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day, Pete at PeachTools.com and let's get into it, eh? Yeah! So guys, if you look at all four of these torches, one of these things is not like the other. Hey, this is like Sesame Street, eh? Do you remember that guy, Sesame Street, a big bird and all that stuff? Which shows you how old I am. <laughs> anyway, one of these things is not like the other and it's this one. And you know why? So if we look at the P80 torch guys, and we just undo it and we have a quick look at it, you'll see that all these here are screw on. The cutting tip is screw on, and the electrode is screw in. So that doesn't give you really much bother, unless you try and start cutting with it when it's loose, and that'll start burning out your gun. But as long as you're reasonably tight, even finger tight, it'll work fine. So then we have the AG60, which is exactly the same guys. Screw on, cutting tip like that and screw in and out electrode, same thing. I've used all these torches guys, and the only one I have an issue with, the torch heads burning out, is the PT31. So this is an SG50. Once again, screw in nozzle, and screw in electrode. The electrode on this is quite long, but it's still the same thing, it's screw in, like that. If you compare the SG50 here, to the PT31 here, we take this one to pieces, and look what we find. This is just pushed on there and it's sitting on a swirl ring that holds it apart. And basically guys, we've got a double ended electrode and it just sits in here. So what you have to do is screw this up really, really tight with all your fittings in the right place for it to hold it down so it doesn't start vibrating. The minute this starts vibrating, it'll start cutting into your torch head and then, you know, within two or three hours, your torch head will be buggered. That's what I found when I first started plasma cutting anyway. So the SG50 here that has the screw in and the PT31 here, see the heads look almost identical. It has the holes here for your swirl ring, for your ear, your swirl ring goes on top. The only difference is this one here screws in like that and this one here pushes in like that. Now you're saying to yourself, well, what the hell's the difference? What's he going on about? What's that idiot going on about today? Well, I'll show you. So if we look at this one here, guys, we take that out. You see that there, how that fits in that room like I just told you like that? And this is a new torch. So we'll have no issue with that because there is actually no arcing in here. But you look at this one. All right, here we have a used PT31 torch, and I don't use this one anymore because for the simple reason that it arcs out in the torch head. Have a look. Now can you see inside this torch guys, it's actually arced out all the way around here. And why it's just done that is because I've been using it and it hasn't been tight with the ceramic and it started vibrating. And then it, what it does is the electrical current burns out the inside of your torch. And then sooner or later, or more sooner than later, you won't be able to cut it all because you just can't get the cut right again. Even when you put the cutting tip into this torch, you can feel it's quite gritty. And if you run your hand over the top, you can feel there's lots of sharp bits in there. And that's the electrical current has actually burnt this and it started to burn into the to the copper or the bronze or whatever the hell it is so the only way to fix this torch really is this little hack that I'm going to show you and this is what Pete does when they go like this yeah! so what you need to do guys is grab your double ended cutting electrode like this doesn't matter which end you use <laughs> tighten them up like that so it looks like that guys and then whatever you happen to have handy at the moment I'm polishing my car so I've got some cut and polish or you can use um, Ajax, or you can use sort of kitchen cleaner, as long as it's abrasive, as long as it's got some sort of abrasion in it, you can use any of that sort of stuff. But I've got this handy, or you can use Brasso, whatever you've got. Stick your nozzle in it like that, get a nice pasty thing on it, whether it's your Ajax, or your Vim, or your Brasso, or whatever it is you're using. Grab your torch head like so, stick your electrode in there, push it down home. Now it might take a little while. Can you see that guys, there's all that black muck coming out of it. It's cleaning all that burnt stuff off. See that guys, how that's all dirty and mucky in there. 
So see guys how that's really really black in there like I said and it's starting to also clean up the electrode because that electrode was pretty badly scored as well. But look at that, it's coming up as clean as a whistle as well. So if we even clean up this electrode here, I'll show you what it's done to that. Can you see there where we've been rubbing on the inside of the torch? It's actually cleaned this up as well. And then it's done exactly the same to the inside of the torch. Here, I'll show you. Can you see that in there now, guys? That's as clean as the whistle in there now. It's got all the burns off it. You'll be able to reassemble your electrode in there, no worries at all. And you can start all over again. As long as you remember to tighten up that ceramic, then you're not going to get that vibration and it won't start burning out again. See, here's the new one again, guys. And here's the one we just cleaned up. I used to throw these torches away when they were like this because I just couldn't get any use out of them. But then I discovered how to do it like this. So you'll get another couple of months out of one of these if you clean it up like I showed you. But it's a right pain in the neck. Or well, maybe I'm the only one that's had that problem. Maybe I'm the only one that doesn't check my electrodes before I um, start cutting. But it only takes a little bit that you don't tighten it up and then it starts burning out your torch like this. So we can reassemble this PT31 torch there and we'll be good to go again. Yeehaw! So there's a little hack for you guys. Maybe you had the same issue that I had with these PT31 torches. Like I said, they're really, really good, but that's the only thing that I find. They tend to burn out the head, even if this is just a little bit loose and it starts vibrating and you've got all sorts of issues. Anyway, guys, that's about it. So, guys, I wouldn't let that put you off using the PT31 torch. It's just something to look out for, eh? If you do happen to burn out your torch head, just do what I did. Stick it in the cordless drill. Stick some powder of any description that you've got on there, whether it's... um car cutting compound or brasso or even ajax out of the bathroom just something with a bit of grit in it spin it around there a few times and you'll be up and away cutting again in no time anyway guys same as usual if you like my video subscribe drop me a like drop me a comment come say good day pete at peachtools.com and we'll see you next time eh take care and don't forget guys like and subscribe to peach tools yeah peachtools.com